Hi guys, four months ago I purchased Vice 204 DAC because I've heard it and I instantly fell in love with the dynamics, richness, soundstage, holography and this DAC is truly amazing. And I didn't plan to change it for a long time, but when I opened the Pandora box of streamers and DACs that I tested in here, I've got to experience the Holo Audio Spring DAC, which for the richness of the midrange and analoginess, I liked a little bit more than the Vice. So I decided to risk it and I got myself a Holo May KTE edition. I have the Holo May KTE here for about two months now and I leave it on nearly all the time so it's properly broken in and at the moment it sounds very good. But good people from Corys, my local hi-fi store when I visited them said, you know, we've got this T plus A exhibition here for a week and we've got plenty of gear. Why don't you get this duck because it's supposed to be amazing and it can do PCM and DSD, which are different formats for music. This T plus A DAC has two DACs on the inside. One is, I believe, four Burr Brown PCM DACs. And also there's a dedicated DSD DAC. And the DSD DAC on the inside, the one bit DAC, can do DSD files to up to 1024 crazy, basically insane. Since I'm using copyright free music that I have license to play, it's not in native DSD. So to test the system properly and have my opinion, I needed to change the files somehow. And I know there's some software that I can upsample the files to DSD, but I wanted to do it on the fly as well to test some title tracks and other things like that. So I decided to finally test the HQ player, which combined with Rune allows me to stream Tidal and upsample it on the fly to DSD and how far you can upsample it only depends on the computer that you have. And I'm doing few experiments with my workstation uh, like PC with my PC based laptop gaming one and also with my MacBook Pro uh, M1. So I can go to DSD 256 on the fly, but with better machine and probably Linux, I can go to like 512 DSD. And from what I can hear, the higher you go, the more juice you get. So for me, it's a very nice experience to enjoy it, discover it, and it's plenty of fun. As you guys know, I've got a Relic RESG 2.2, and it can upsample the standard files like 16-bit 44.1 kilohertz up to 705.6 or something like that with ease, but it cannot upsample to do DSD. Basically to go to DSD on the fly, you need a computer to do that. And I will also share my total route and experience with the HQ player, the setups, how it works, what I think about it in the later video. So yeah, it will come for sure because it's very interesting option to stream the files at the moment. But now I would like to share with you some samples of the Holomay and T plus A or TNA 200. And since both DACs can do the DSD and PCM, I will do two tests for you. One will be Holo versus T plus A in PCM and one in DSD. So you've got double the tracks, but you can hear what the DACs can do. And let me tell you, I'm using the Holomay in the nose mode. No matter what the sampling is from the source, the DAC is working in the nose mode. Also, for the T plus A, there are some filters. And apparently, I'm not sure if it's like true nose for the PCM. I believe it is for the DSD, but I'm not sure. Don't 
rely 100% on that information, but there are some filters in the T plus A and I'm also using the ones that are called NOS. So it's very close to NOS apparently, but I'm not really sure, is it for sure? Nevertheless, it sounds the best to me as well. It got the most juice, richness, depth, analoginess, and still it remains so dynamic and quick and everything is instantaneous, just as I like. So yeah, it's crazy. So now just listen to the samples. I don't know where she came from Kinda turned me upside down I just don't know what to do I wanna spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just wanna tell her how I feel Screaming out loud have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. There's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances. When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head?
this narrow I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm. na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me mm -hmm. But you showed me how to believe Still gets me When I look back I can see you're hiding Waiting for a moment to step in And I'll never understand how you saw it coming Oh, bye
got a start Inside out and upside down No stress, I'ma clean up this mess La, like Alice First hand me scissors Then bring out the heavy artillery Oh, justice is my middle name I'm Alice Dear Queen of Hearts I'ma grow you I say So you can learn to be kind
been right When all you seem to do is lie Those days are gone I'm walking tall while you're alone When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things you took from me Hide me.
came from Kinda turned me upside down I just don't know what to do I wanna spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just wanna tell her how I feel Screaming out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head?
woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm. na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me But you showed me how to believe Still gets me When I look back I can see you're hiding Waiting for a moment to step in And I'll never understand how you saw it coming Oh, bye i
let us start Inside out and upside down No stress, I'ma clean up this mess La like Alice First hand me scissors Then bring out the heavy artillery Oh, justice is my middle name I'm Alice Dear Queen of Hearts I'ma grow you wide Darling, there was 
nothing right When all you seem to do is lie Those days are gone I'm walking tall while you're alone When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things you took from me
Okay, guys, so what did you hear? Because from what I heard, starting with the PCM, I like the T plus A a little bit more. The vocals are way more pronounced. I'm a full range guy and I do really like beautiful vocals and yes, they're pushed forward, but that doesn't make me sad. I'm even more happy with that. So if you like the soundstage to be way back and refined, this DAC, the T plus A is not for you. The hollow will be better, I believe, but the creaminess and the presence and it's, I believe it's a definite improvement with the T plus A, even in the PCM mode. But when we go to DSD, it's all getting even denser. It's like when I listen to piano, for example, it's getting even lower. The sound is fuller. It's like all the, of the sharpness that can be irritating in a digital audio disappears and yeah it's like just more pleasure and while the richness and the vocals and everything and while the richness the tone of vocals and instruments is truly amazing it doesn't lose the dynamic i'm now going to upsample basically all my audio even from Tidal on the fly with HQ player for a long time and I'll see if I will switch back to PCM but at the moment I doubt it because there's plenty of benefits and yeah it sounds amazing and yeah the T plus A it's uh, very good it's absurd and when I thought you know it's crazy switching DAX every month but then I thought to myself, if I didn't purchase the May a month ago and I had those two units here just rented and I were to decide which one would I get, I'd get the T plus A for my system and preferences. So yeah, it will be it might be crazy to change the DAC every month, but it's even more crazy not to change if I can change them. So I will probably will change to T plus A, but I also don't want to change the DAX every other month. So uh, yeah, and I've got a lot of them here due to the reviews that I do. So I've asked a few of my friends to send some of the DAX that I also always wanted to listen. So I'm gonna have Mola Mola Tambaki here to check and also MSB discrete DAC. Maybe the MSB will be better than Holo and maybe better than T plus A. And my thinking is I want to get the best DAC now that I can. And if I decide this particular DAC, each of those is the best for me at the moment, I'll get it. And I hope that for at least like half a year, I won't get a better DAC here for review. So. I won't need to upgrade because the level here that I've got is to the point where I would miss the T plus A so much that I would not be able to be happy with the sound with Holo at the moment. And let me tell you a story here because a few days ago, a person from Germany, a potential dealer, came here because he was visiting his wife's family here in Poznań and he asked me if he can come and listen, have a listen to the speakers. He came, we had a great listening session and he did really like the speakers and the entire system and then he told, you know, my wife, she hears very well everything and she's my best tester. So. If I can get her here, you know, she doesn't like to listen very loud because, yeah, she's like a lady. So she listened to the few tracks. She loved them. She said, oh, it sounds very nice from what I un could understand. But then we played the Hugh Masakela Stimela, the concert version. And it was very interesting because I like to listen loud 
and yeah apparently she really doesn't but as we were in here listening she was talking to her husband just make it louder make it louder make it louder and apparently we ended at the level where you know the drums and the solos came to the point where it was like extremely loud so the volume level was really really concert level with ease and he said to her oh you know you don't like it loud and she said this sound doesn't bother me being loud so that just shows to me that the system now got to where i like it and apparently other people as well because it's extremely detailed punchy dynamic open holographic but with beautiful vocals analoginess creaminess relaxation in the sound but still with this amazing punch and lifelike dynamics so yes t plus a at the moment is at the top list of the ducks and i'm really happy that it's not twice the price because it's basically the same price as the Holo May with preamp. So, yeah, and I'll keep you posted about the comparison of the DAX that will arrive soon as well, as well as I'll prepare a video about HQ player, what I think about it, how to set up it, and should you go that road. And also I'll do a video, separate one, about upsampling uh, how to do it, what to not do, and yeah, I'm not expert in the theory, but yeah, as I'm listening here, I can record some samples for you so that you know how far can you go with what equipment and is it worth trying. Because if you have opportunity to do up something with your streamer and or DAC, yeah, just go ahead and try if you've never tried it's definitely worth a try. It might work for you and it might not. It all depends on each particular device because upsampling from the Holo sucks. Upsampling from the Auralic rocks. Upsampling on the MacBook with HQ player rocks as well. So it will all depend on each particular device. Yes, so I'm looking forward to your comment about what do you think about those samples that you were able to hear both PCM and DSD and I'm sure the next video that YouTube is suggesting to you right now will be as awesome for you as this one. So see you in my next video.